It's Nanette from Heart Baby Home. Today we're talking about heart number 90, which is double inlet left ventricle, TGA, hypoplastic aorta, and hypoplastic right ventricle. So the first thing I notice when I look at this heart is that the sizes of the ventricles are not similar. In a normal heart, the left and right ventricle are similar in size. But in this heart, the left ventricle is very large and the right ventricle is very small. So part of that is because of the DILV, which is the double inlet left ventricle. Now the inlets, this is the tricuspid valve and this is the mitral valve. And they both go into this left ventricle. And that makes that bigger because all of the blood is going into one side. Along with that, we have a hypoplastic right ventricle. Hypoplasia, hypo means under, and plasia is formation. And that's just when that right ventricle is much smaller than it should be. We also have TVA, where the great vessels have switched places. You'll see the pulmonary artery usually goes to the right ventricle and the aorta usually goes to the left ventricle. And even though they both go to the left ventricle here, the pulmonary artery is more towards the left and the aorta is more towards the right. So they've swapped positions. And this aorta is severely hypoplastic that makes it hard for blood to get out to the body. And we also have an atrial septal defect that's a hole in the septal wall between the two atria. There's also a VSD, a ventricular septal defect, that goes along with the DILV. And it looks like that's everything for this heart. If you liked this video, please subscribe below. That directly helps me. If you have any questions or need to get a hold of me for any reason, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course, heartbabyhome.com slash contact. Thank you so much. Have a great day.